Although the monkeys are laughing and playing, all is not well at the Tish family biblical zoo in Jerusalem. Up the road, the kangaroos often contract a gum infection called lumpy jaw disease, which if untreated can lead to abscesses, severe gingivitis, and often death. Luckily, after a three-year study of the kangaroos here and in Gangaroo Park in northern Israel, a special tooth varnish was recently developed by Israeli scientists that can help kangaroos bounce back from the disease. There's a lot of dirt can go inside their, uh, their jaw and then they can have uh, an infection inside. It's a really hard disease, strong disease, very difficult one. Uh, it can kill them, it's very contagious. The previous treatment involved an aggressive 10-day course of being anesthetized daily, so the kangaroo could be taken to the clinic, given injections, and its teeth cleaned. Most of the animals didn't survive the, the stress itself of handling, of, uh, of uh, daily routine uh, treatments, of injection of antibiotics, and of cleaning uh, the teeth daily. The dangerous stress is also experienced by a baby, if it's a mother that's sick. Of course, the mother, if she has a small baby in the pocket, all these treatments, we, we, found, we saw that not only the mother's suffering, usually the baby won't uh, survive uh, either. After 40% of its kangaroos died from the stress of lumpy jaw disease, Gangaroo Park teamed up with the Jerusalem Zoo along with professors in Hebrew University's dentistry and pharmacy departments. Together they developed the new treatment. The idea was to, to create something that is slow release and with one treatment, because we have to anesthetize the animal, we're darting them, we're uh, taking them to the hospital. The researchers published their results last year in the respected Journal of Zoo and Wildlife Medicine. And immediately zoos in several countries, including Australia, contacted the researchers for more information. We published exactly the recipe, how to prepare the varnish. So if someone has any access, which most of uh, zoos we hope, access to a university or to good pharma pharmacologist, he can he can uh, prepare it by itself. Hebrew University is also setting up a company to sell the compound. Key in the new treatment is early detection. Zookeeper Drawer showed me how she develops rapport with the kangaroos by feeding them tasty carob pods, plentiful in Israel. When the animal is relaxed around her, she can then check for telltale symptoms. Because their mouth is really small mm -hmm. uh, from the outside, but you can see all the other signs, sometimes swelling, uh, in all sorts of places, uh, bad smell from the mouth. Drawer said the zoo's wallabies can also use the varnish, and that the treatment could possibly even be adapted to domestic animals like dogs, who often develop dental problems. But so far, the kangaroos around the world are the first ones to benefit from this unique slow-release treatment developed in Israel.